Medicine is the way of the future. That's right, guys. We can service you anywhere in the country, nationwide, through telemedicine, FaceTime, Skype. We will take care of you guys. Our pharmacies ship directly to your doorstep. Whether you're at your home, your office, or in your vehicle, Titan Medical Center can help you. So contact us today, 727-389-3220, and check out TitanMedicalCenter.com. Thanks, guys. I'm here in front of Titan Medical Center and I've always wondered what they're all about. So let's go inside and take a look. Here at Titan Medical Center, we see you as Titan family. When you walk through our doors here on Channel Side, you'll be greeted by our courteous staff. After you sign in, we'll make sure to greet you with a bottle of water and a Titan swag bag because hydration is important. After that, you can relax on our comfy couches in our beautiful lobby. After a short wait, our medical assistant will come to take you back to our patient treatment room. Our medical facility is state of the art and we want everyone to stop by and see us. Here at Titan, we offer hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, IVs, blood draws, and much, much more. Once you're in our patient treatment room, you'll have your vitals checked. We are a medical clinic and we make sure that your health is our top priority. After that, you will be greeted by our medical provider. They'll ask you how you feel, what your goals are, and talk about how Titan can help you. We want you to reach your health and fitness goals. We care about our patients and want to help you feel, look, and perform at your very, very best. Come be part of the Titan family today. Hello folks, my name's Cass, one of the nurse practitioners at Titan Medical Center. I wanted to reach out to you today to speak about wellness. Wellness in terms of nutritional wellness and immune health wellness. Some of the things that are commonly overlooked when we think about nutrition and wellness are the basic vitamins, minerals, herbs, and antioxidants that we can get from our diet and from the environment that can make us be better prepared for a attack on our immune system and help us get better by using these vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. So the first one I wanted to speak to you about was vitamin C. Everybody knows vitamin C. We've all heard of this one. This one works by helping mount an immune response when you do have an infection or an invasion from a foreign pathogen such as a bacteria, a virus, or a fungus. Vitamin C, you can get it from citrus fruits. Um, however, if you can't seem to get it through your diet, we offer it here in Titan Medical Center as an injectable therapy. So if you're interested, just let us know. We can help you with that. Another commonly looked over vitamin is vitamin D. I'm sure you've heard of vitamin D. It helps with strong bones, strong teeth. However, it can also help your immune response. Vitamin D plays a big role in helping T cells be produced in the body in response to an invasion by a virus, a bacteria, or a fungus. So the T cells will help mount a attack against any foreign invaders that make you ill. With milk, cheese, eggs, and meats. Also, sunlight helps the conversion of vitamin D in the body so you can utilize it. So if you're having trouble getting out in the sun or getting vitamin D in your diet, we also offer vitamin D therapies at Titan Medical Center in an injectable form. So if you need any medication such as vitamin D, we can help you with that. Another key for the immune response is hydration. Now all my Titan patients out there, you know the first thing we ask is, what's your hydration status? Are you drinking close to that gallon of water a day? It is important, not just for overall wellness, but also for immune health. With ingestion of good amounts of water, water will help remove toxins throughout the cells and the blood in the body to eliminate them. So if you do not have enough hydration on board, you can have an accumulation of toxins that can reduce your immune response, thereby making your infection or illness last longer. So hydration is key. Zinc is a very powerful mineral that often is overlooked 
for immune system wellness. Zinc can be found in many of the common foods we eat, such as cheese, milk, dairy products, nuts, legumes, and shellfish. Now what zinc does when we, once we consume it, it will help the production of cytokines, which increase inflammation in the body to help destroy bacteria, fungus, and virus to help us mount an immune response. Also, it releases natural killer cells, which have an affinity to attack viruses especially, but also fungus and bacteria, thereby stopping or slowing the replication of the virus or the bacteria that make us sick. So if you need more zinc in your diet, we can offer that here at Titan Medical Center. We have zinc that you can take by mouth, and we also have injectable forms of zinc that can help you with your immune response. So there you have it, folks. Some very important minerals, antioxidants, and vitamins that can help strengthen your immune system substantially to help you recover from an illness or prevent it altogether. So if you need any help getting these therapies or medications, give me a call at Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. I would love to help boost your immune system. So you guys stay strong out there, stay healthy. Until next time. Hey guys, this is Jerry Ward from Bio Street Training, and I've been with Titan literally for about four years now. Now, it's hard to find doctors in the medical industry to help athletes because they don't really understand their needs. Titan understands. So when I went to Titan to get my first blood work done with them, they came back with a full metabolic panel, let me know everything that was going on, made some adjustments, got me back on track with my health. And not only did they help me, but they helped my wife in the same way, who's actually going through adrenal fatigue due to her job being a CBR nurse working crazy hours, the high stress levels that were going on and stuff like that. They got both of us back on track and couldn't be more thankful to them than we actually are. So my favorite therapy personally for me is the testosterone. Now why the testosterone? Well, I'm 43 years old. My testosterone, when it was measured, came in at 117, which is well below what it should be. And I felt it, I felt like that. So every day I'd get up, I was lethargic. I had no motivation. My body was healing slowly. I felt like I was 43 when I was, you know, literally getting my, my levels checked. After I went on the testosterone therapy, they also put me on HCG, which actually helps raise your luteinizing hormone, which a lot of people don't realize. When you raise testosterone and not your luteinizing hormone, you can still get the same side effects as having low testosterone. So they understood that both of those things have to be in check. The uh, Rimadex actually kept your estrogen in check, so everything was in balance. So after about a week of being on the therapies, literally I felt like night and day difference. And after a couple of weeks, I felt like not I was 43, like I was 18 years old again. So. Thank you guys from Titan Medical for getting me and my wife both back on track health-wise and feeling great and being 43 and feeling like we're 18 again. Hello, my name is John Sikoris, and this is Cherise Sikoris, and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Today, we want to talk about our Titan Complete Injectable Vitamin and Amino Acid Therapy. This therapy is doctor prescribed and monitored. Um, it has your essential amino acids and your branch chain amino acids in it. Uh, it also has all your B vitamins in it. So, what this is going to do for you is it's going to boost your metabolism naturally. It's going to help you with energy through the day. Okay, it's going to aid in weight loss. It's also going to aid in muscle synthesis. Okay, so it's going to help build muscle and retain muscle. So, amino acids, the branch chains. There's only three of them: leucine, isoleucine, and valine. These three are also essential amino acids. Okay, that means that your body cannot produce them. You have to get them from food. If you're like me and I'm on the go all day, it's really hard to get these things. And I see a lot of people, okay, they're taking over-the-counter supplements with all these fillers and they really don't know what they're intaking and drinking these things all day and feeling bloated and a lot of water retention, just not feeling good. You don't need to do that, okay? One injection, 
will cover that for you and you will not need to do any of the over-counter and drinking the, the powders all day. It will be a more natural way, you know, become prescribed from the doctor, monitored. So I mean, you know, what was your experience with it, Cherise? Well, a couple little things. Number one, I know a lot of times when you say injection, everyone goes, injection. Oh my God, it's so scary. So with that being said, it is given with a little baby tiny insulin syringe. I personally don't like needles, but I get the great effects out of it. So once you kind of trade the two and you realize that it's semi overrated to a certain degree and it really doesn't hurt, then you're able to get over it and enjoy the benefits of the injectable. Um, so that's number one. Number two, you know, not only does it give me energy throughout the day, like a natural energy that kind of carries me through the day, but you know, me, I'm sure a lot of you guys know, um, I'm busy back to back calls. I think I'm here sometimes, you know, for 15 hours and I, I just don't take a lunch break because you know, I, as soon as I grab the food to eat it, I, I get pulled in another direction and you know, that that's just a different story on itself. But with that being said, it does have my branched chain aminos in it. So my muscles don't go into atrophy if I don't eat. So it does help me out in that aspect as well. So it'll kind of help even out my days a little bit. A lot of you guys out there, um, you know, the people that are in the gym and you're doing your BCA, you know, drinks and you're doing it before your workout or, you know, during your workout or after your workout. Um, if you're injecting it and you do it right before your workout or even if you do it after your workout, but if you do it before your workout, you don't need to drink anything in between. I mean, it's in your system. The absorbency rate is gonna be a lot higher. So you're talking 10% of what you think is, you know, in a bottle that's on the label because nobody really knows exactly what's in that, you know, powder you're buying over the counter um, to, you know, the potency level of, I would say about 85 to 90% when you're injecting it and it's coming from a pharmacy, which is, they are being regulated. So what's on the label has to be in the bottle. So it's a big difference between buying something over the counter versus it coming from a pharmacy and you knowing exactly what's you know what you're getting. Like I said, don't get me wrong. You can get all this from food, all right? That's if you're weighing it out and you make sure you're eating in the exact same. Like I said, for us, it's real hard. For somebody that's working at nine to five, it's real hard. For this you know, little baby insulin needle that you would inject with this therapy, you're getting all your B vitamins, you're getting branch chain amino acids with essential amino acids. Okay, it's going to aid in weight loss. It's going to help you through the day. The bioavailability and the transportation rate are going to be there. That means you're going to absorb more when you're taking over the counter. Like you said, it's a very, very small percentage of absorbency. With and you don't have a clue as to what you're getting. I mean, if we look at the bigger picture, you guys do know that no one knows what's really in that bottle. You know, so it's 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 a, it's a big difference, and you you'll feel the difference as well. How's it going guys? Cass, nurse practitioner from Titan Medical Center. Wanted to just touch base with you guys and let you know some of the services we offer here at Titan Medical Center. Not only do we offer amazing therapies with hormone replacement, medical weight loss, amino acid and vitamin therapy, rejuvenation, detoxification, and libido enhancers. We're also offering primary care services. So if you're unable to get to your doctor's office or your nurse practitioner's office or your provider, we're able to help you get those services that you're unable to attain. So at Titan Medical Center, not only can we see you in the office, but we're now able to reach you for our telemedicine through Skype and FaceTime. Some of the services that we offer can range from ear, nose, and throat complaints, sexually transmitted diseases, urinary tract infections, tooth infections, skin rashes. Those are some of the typical things we can help you with, but if you have more, give us a call. We'll see if we can help you with them. 727-389-3220. We would love to help you. So stay strong and stay healthy. What's up guys, John and Sharice here. It's another Cupid's Corner, Sunday at 11 a.m. Tight Medical Health and Lifestyle Show. 
We are happy to be here and happy to share this time with you, right? I'm excited. We got some cool tips today. So we've got some really, really cool tips and stuff you guys can do inside on your Corona isolation <laughs> day, okay? Because that's what's going on right now. Most of us have to stay safe at home. Uh, we have to be indoors most of the time. Uh, so at this point, a lot of couples are together and for more amount of time than they ever have been. Or they might want to be. Right? So you guys got to find some, some things to pass by the time and not to kill each other. <laughs> right? So this should be a happy time or a happier time. I know there's a lot of stress and a lot of pressure on a lot of couples right now. They haven't spent this much time together like we talked about. So that might be some stress that you've never had before mm -hmm. because you're not used to being around your significant other all the time like me and Sharice are yeah, that's all easy. the time. So it comes really easy to us, but it doesn't come easy to a lot of different people. Or people want to you know, make their relationship better. Right? Or maybe they haven't even thought about it, but this is the time that you should be trying to make your relationship better, okay? So if you have the time, let's talk about some good tips that me and Sharice have brought up for you guys this Sunday. So the first one is create a memory or photo album or scrapbook. How many times have you ever done that with your partner? Never. You know why? Because everything is done on your phone. And most of the time when you do things on your phone, not like back in the day when you actually had like a Polaroid where you took a picture and it was like, Joot, and you took it out and then you slapped it on a book somewhere. It was all cool. Now you have to actually go somewhere, plug in your phone, which I have done. CVS, Walgreens, they have these little, you know, uh, Kodak stands or whatever. And you can kind of go there and print out your pictures, which is cool. But nobody prints out their pictures anymore. Remember, those places are essential. So you guys can still go to those places. Yeah, they're essentials. Go, go print your pictures. So the big thing about this is, is maybe you guys have had pictures from before. Maybe you guys have been together 5, 10, 15 years before digital, before cell phones were the overall ruling uh, scrapbook or photo album, right? That you might have. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, is get those old pictures, put them together. And the reason these pictures are so good and these old pictures are, is they might bring back good memories, positive memories. Even if you're in a bad place right now, or it's not so good, these might bring up some happy moments and might bring a smile to your face, right? Yeah, actually, you just said that the other day. Yeah. when I, It was actually on Facebook. I'm sure a lot of you guys have a Facebook, but they have the memories button. So you click the memories and it takes you back through years and years and years of memories. So, I mean, he brought it up and he was like, oh my goodness, do you remember this picture? It's from seven years ago. I don't know what we were doing, but yeah. it was, you know, we looked much different. It was just, oh my God, I remember we did that. So it is kind of cool to piece it together at the end of the day and kind That's of cool. put it somewhere in like a book where you can keep forever. We well, remember these different things and there's a couple different ways you guys can do this. So even if it is the digital age and you might not have physical pictures, the thing about it is, is there is different services out there that you guys can do online and you guys can actually send in these photos to make collages mm -hmm. and they actually will print them and send them back to you right now. So you can get those right now and then you can have something that's physical in front of you like I have some of my dresser that Sharice has made me through the years. I just like making them. Uh, you know, over a relationship or Valentine's days or special moments in our life, which are really cool. Because when I get up in the morning, I'm doing all my stuff, and I start putting on my, my, my jewelry or putting my keys in my pocket, I see these pictures. And it does remind me of some of the old times that we used to have, really, really good times. Or some times that I might have just forgot about, you know, it, yeah. it brings back those good memories and puts you more in a happy place, especially if you have a family. You know, you can you can look and see these pictures and the growth of maybe your child or your relationship or of each other. And it's just really, really cool. So it's a very, very cool project to do together because you guys can go through the photos together. Mm -hmm. Right. And you guys can talk about some of these photos and when they were taken or, you know, whatever you guys were doing. Uh, and it might bring up, you know, some things that you guys could possibly do when this isolation thing is done. Because like, it'll be done soon. Yeah, it'll be done soon. So Hopefully. at that point, you'll have some good things that you guys can do on the outside. Um, plus, it involves teamwork of mm -hmm. you guys working together. And that's a buying experience in itself. So that's a really, really cool one. So creating a photo album or scrapbook of you guys together and of moments that made you guys happy. Maybe with a family of together, vacations you may have taken. Uh, Halloween, because I know we had a lot of Halloween. We used to wear two Halloween that's costumes. His that's his favorite holiday. Every year. We have Christmas. What about we Christmas? have Thanksgiving with all the food. You would think John Maybe would want to have gift. A, the, his favorite holiday would be the one with all the food, right? No. <laughs> Okay, no. But his favorite one is Halloween. I like you know? Halloween. He you likes know? Halloween a it's lot. It's good. It's good. So 
you know, before we used to have two costumes, you just go to like two different Halloween parties <laughs> every year. You know, so we have these different photos from then. And it really does bring back a lot of good memories. And hey, listen, do you remember dressing up like this? I remember where we went that mm -hmm. night or what happened and stuff like that. So it was really, really cool. So use this time to get those memories, to bring back the good and old times, put something together so you guys have something physical in front of your face, you know, maybe every day that you guys can look at, maybe you guys put it in your office when you guys go back to work or you're at work. And it, you know, whenever you're having a bad time or a downtime or a stressful time, you can look at these photos and it might cheer you up. 100%, right? I agree. So yep. That's good. So collages, photo albums. The next thing is, is making a love letter or love note for your significant other, okay? So Sharice used to do this to me back in the day. All the time, it was so much fun. I she used to write me it. these little little notes and stuff like that, little love notes, and then place them where she knows I was gonna go. What might be in the bathroom, in the mirror, in the car, you know, next to his phone, like right on top of it. So when you like, you couldn't like not text me in the morning yeah. and be like, "I love you too." Yeah. I would just write on there like, "I love you so much." thinking of you, have a good day, you know, just something silly. It wouldn't even be anything like in depth, but it would be something like, wow, she thought of me before she left the house. And you know, it's just something cute and sweet. Those little things will go a long way. And it's really cool because you know, when was the last time you wrote a letter? Now I remember us when we were kids and stuff like that coming up, we didn't have these nifty cell phones. I didn't <laughs> at least. So, you know, you had to write out a letter. There was an email. So there was no email, so you were literally writing out a letter. Uh, and you were explaining to them through detail and description of how you felt about them, you know, what was going on, maybe it was something that troubled you, you guys could write it out. Um, and you can express yourself. Some people can't communicate verbally like this, right? So at that point, writing it down is a lot easier for some other people. So expressing these different things and having something physical that they can put away. I have some of the letters that Sharice used to write me. I have a lot of the cards that I've gotten through the years. Um, and I always come across them and I always look at them and it always reminds me of those good times again, right? This does remind me while he's on that topic because I am going to insert this comment. Birthdays, anniversaries, cards, you go to the store, of course Hallmark and all these other box shoe or shoe box, I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> regardless, they make all these really cool cards and they pretty much say everything you really wanted to say in the card. Yep. Don't be lazy yep. and not write your own personal message right. because the card has said the message for you. I'm sure that the, the card has put a wonderful message across that yeah. you have wanted to say, yeah. but it's important that you don't just put, love John. Yeah love wifey it just put your own message in there so they know that you really really mean what you say yeah. say what you mean yeah you know it means a lot even if it's a sentence or two it does mean a lot i mean what i would do right now in this situation that you guys got don't go out and get a card okay get a blank piece of paper or a little sticky note and then write some things that are on your mind about your partner good things maybe positive things um, you know, you look so beautiful today, or I love you so much. You know, I wouldn't want to be in this situation with anybody else except for you. I'm giving you guys some examples you guys can use, okay? <laughs> it can be an IOU, like, baby, I love you so much. Um, here's a f free 15 minute massage whenever you want to keep this, right? I think I actually wrote you out some of those so, before. Some IOUs, right? Make them go in debt to you guys. He never used them. I'm sure he probably has them somewhere in his sock drawer. Or I'm something. keeping away for a rainy day. <laughs> He's going to go find them now. That's right. That's right. So, I mean, it, it's another it's another physical item that you can hold on to, and it, it's remembrance, you know? And years down the line, if you guys are still together, or you guys are still married, or maybe listen, maybe one of your loved ones passed away mm -hmm. right? and you still have these physical copies and it brings back good memories of good times when you guys had. Plus it can, it can increase your bonding relationship now. Mm -hmm. So your partner might look at you in a whole different way. Like, thank you. You've never did this for me before. So this is something new that I'm getting, which is really, really cool because right now when you're isolated, there's only so many things you can do outside together. You know, you can't go to the movies, can't go to a restaurant, you can't do any of this stuff, mm -hmm. but you can do these very, very simple things that will help your relationship and that your partner might really, really appreciate and really hold on to for a long time, you know? So these are some of the different things that me and Sharice have done that has increased our relationship for the better and it can help you guys increase your relationship too. It might even get you guys some more extra special favors from your partner, you never know, right? <laughs> so I think that, that these are some of the special things that me and her have done and, and they coincide together so if you do both of these things as inside activities um, 
one, you're going to have something physical to come from it. So it's almost like a gift or a present mm -hmm. that shouldn't cost you hardly any, any money at all. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a lot of money to work with right now, if you've lost your job or, or bad times, you guys can do this with minimal money. Okay. So if you guys were to go to Walgreens and print out these photos and make a collage, it's going to be very inexpensive mm -hmm. and writing a letter or these sticky notes is going to be virtually zero dollars all right you're gonna use a pen and a piece of paper that I mean, you have i think i've even written john like a, i love you on like a paper towel or something oh Just yeah like because you know it was available and i was rushing you know the big thing is is put it in a place that you know they're gonna go just don't hand it to them but here you go that's weird don't yeah. do that do not hand them the letter for them to read in front of you i think that's really odd yeah. i just i don't think you should read the letter in front no. of your significant you put them on the spot almost and then you're just you know? like staring at them while they read it and i'm like so what do you think but if it's in a Don't place, do that. yeah. But if it's in a place like even in the refrigerator, so if you know your husband's gonna go or your wife's gonna go in the refrigerator to grab something, and there's, there's put it on top of their steaks. Bam! Stick it right to it, and then when they see it, it'll probably automatically put a smile on their face yeah. without them even reading it, because you know you've just went above and beyond, and it's so minimal to do to do this. So at that point, it will get you more brownie points. It should help your guys' relationship, and it should increase your communication skills. Mm -hmm. And we talk about communication all the time as being, you know, just so important in relationships, in business, in friendships, in anything that you do. Communication is key. So mm -hmm. this will increase those communications and those lines of communication for you guys. So it will benefit your relationship, maybe now and then down the line even more. I so, agree. I agree. Good, right? They're good ones. These are good ones. Yeah. We've done throughout the years. We didn't even think about it, but you know, thinking about how we can share these tips with you or something that we've done in the past that has made us get to where we're at today. You know, we want to share those cool things with you guys. And we still get a lot of feedback and keep the feedback coming to us guys about these segments, Cupid's corner, the other segments that we do, we've been getting a lot of positive feedback about it. People really like some of the things that we're telling them, you know, some of the people are like, I never really thought about that, or I was going to do that. And now I really did do it. And it really did help the relationship out. And especially right now in times like this, you know, domestic violence is up right now because everybody's isolating their homes and maybe they're getting on each other's nerves, cabin fever is in place. Um, where you know they can't leave their home or they can only leave their home for a minimal amount you know so this might help break the ice in a lot of those situations or may help your guys relationship in the long run so just do it guys okay <laughs> just do it <laughs> <laughs> so this has been another cupid's corner segment thank you guys very much for tuning in we're here for you guys every sunday abc 11 a.m okay eastern standard time if you guys are in florida you guys will check it out if you guys aren't in florida don't worry we got you guys back we're gonna post on social media, Facebook and Instagram, for you guys to check out the whole show. And if you guys see something you guys like, give us feedback. If you guys wanna hear about something, or maybe you guys have some tips and tricks that we can share across to the audience, please help us out. Send us in some topics that we can possibly talk about or that you might wanna hear about. So I appreciate you guys tuning in again. And thanks guys, we'll see you next Sunday. See you then.